Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Guru 04. Someone asked me from uh, Facebook that how to measure roof height with auto level or you can say that uh, how to measure minimum clearance of any bridge over the road with auto level. So I will explain this question with example before starting kindly subscribe my youtube channel civil guru 04 and you can also access me through uh, my facebook page land developer and architect designer here you can share about any issue uh, about civil 3d and land surveying So when we talk about clearness of any bridge, it should be vertical height. It is necessary to determine the minimum clearance between the crown of the road and the underside of the bridge. You can see here, I have example that uh, here we have bridge and downside we have road and we need to measure this height from road to bridge downside. It will same method for any roof, any wall, anything else up like that. So you will see that when we measure minimum clearance of any bridge we mark that on a uh, bridge with uh, board because driver can see that how much height will be passed through this bridge otherwise you will see many accidents like that if you will not follow minimum clearance of the bridge it's just for example, but our purpose is to clear that how, when, how can we uh, measure minimum clearance or height of any roof using auto level. So first reading we will take with inverted staff on the down side of the bridge and the second RL will be determined on road. So when we have two level, the staff is placed upside down to get the R of a point above the line of sight. Reading must be poked with a negative sign. When we put inverted staff here, we will book our reading with negative sign. As you can see, we have auto level one staff here and another staff will be inverted here we have bridge downside and first reading will be tagged here with negative sign and another reading will be tagged with plus sign if you are experienced surveyor then you can plus these two values and can get your answer quickly but if you are newbie you must need to uh, understand this method actually what we have actual actually what we have uh, that uh, formula about first reading minus second reading but why we are doing plus here because one minus is in formula and another minus will be with this inverted reading and we will plus minus minus will be plus and when we plus these two reading we will get height from here to there so in this method you can measure any height of roof walls and clearance of any bridge using auto level sometimes when we have two roads are many more maybe and you will see that roads are not equally 
level on each side some sometime we have sloped so we must need to uh, calculate minimum clearance and you can do that with average reading here i have also explained this method that when we will uh, we have two uh, rods one here and cd another side of the road then we will take two readings here on the upside down from the bridge and two reading here upside from the bridge and two reading here for road and two reading here you can see ab ab and ab another underside of the bridge and cd crown of the road and cd underside of the bridge when we have total eight readings then we will put them in a leveling book and calculate rise and fall method for elevations when we have done with elevation you can use hi method also so you need to minus crown reading a to underside bridge reading a to get minimum clearance when we have four reading you can minus them and get average so this method you can use for any irregular elevation road to make determine clearance or height of bridge or roof so you can get this uh, presentation in description of this video or you can also access me through comment I will provide you this book if you can't download that. Hope you like this video. If you have any question, kindly write down. Thank you. Goodbye.